All right, so this is gonna be kind of a short video. I got a little story. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, please subscribe. I appreciate it. I upload every single day, mostly. Uh, I've been a little exhausted recently because of this whole grind, but it, it, we're, we're getting there. So to get the full picture of this whole story, we're gonna have to start back at yesterday's video. In yesterday's video, I made a quick mention. In today's video, I made a quick, quick mention that there were going to be people that are gonna end up coming to my house in order to clean the floors and stuff around my house because we're gonna be doing a charity stream. Twitch.tv slash abstract sweater. It'll be on the 14th to the 15th, 12 to 12, 24 hours. So if you haven't followed that in preparation for it, go ahead and follow that now. In that video, I mentioned that there were some people that were going to end up coming to the house in order to clean because we're going to be having the charity stream. And I just want the house to be, you know, clean as possible before people start showing up because inevitably over 24 hours with a bunch of people here, it's probably not going to be the cleanest place in the world afterwards. Just saving myself a little bit of sanity here. So I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but we brought out some of these carpet cleaning guys, Stanley Steamer. Stanley Steamer gets your floors cleaner, whatever the fuck the jingle is those guys end up coming here and they were in the house for about like two and a half hours or so i had them like do this whole room i had them do the stairs i had them do like the whole downstairs so they were here for a couple hours they're getting any dirt and grime and stuff like that using their machines and stuff that you know are using water and all this other stuff to, you know mix with their chemicals and stuff like that that they're trying to clean the floors with sanitize and all that shit so naturally their job is going to take a little bit a couple hours at most so i'm upstairs just you know playing the game just grinding out for damascus and stuff and eventually the guys end up calling me down there and they're like hey man yeah we uh we finished everything up everything's looking all good you can look over all this stuff and i figured it was just gonna be like you know the typical like oh hey thank you for doing all this stuff pay and then they leave and i got down there and the guy told me that they were done and everything and you know this is how i'm gonna pay and whatever he went out of his way to go and say one of your neighbors ended up coming into your house and yelling at us for working a guy came here to your house inside of your house and ended up saying something along the lines of i have a headache you guys are working too loudly uh, how long are you guys going to be or some shit like that they, he was basically complaining at them and they were like hey man yeah we're just doing our jobs it's only 5 30 in the afternoon the ordinance shit is until like eight o'clock so as far as a noise complaint goes there's nothing you can do about it he's like oh i understand that but he's basically just giving those guys a hard time while they're just trying to do their job and i'm pretty cool with these guys like i'm chilling with these dudes like they're cool as fuck to me so they're like they're kind of on the younger side too so when they told me they're laughing about it mocking them and all this other shit uh, so then we go back and look on the cameras right and uh after they explain the whole story about about, you know this guy coming into the house complaining at them and then ended up leaving the house in like a huff like number one you walked into my fucking house okay while these guys are working because they have to like send these tubes through the front door and stuff with the water and shit their machine so the door is slightly cracked open and the machine is running outside this guy that lives like across the street or some shit by the way never got complaints by anybody before from this and it's not like it happens that often he ends up coming walking up to my house opening the door and then giving those guys a hard time and then as he's leaving the place after we found the video of the thing because at first i didn't really believe him but then alexis oh man once she found out it was all fucking over once she found out she was so fucking mad we go and look back on the camera and the dude just walks up to the house comes in just opens the door walks in goes hello and then the guys come out like who the fuck is this guy ask how long how much longer they're gonna be he has a headache and it's being loud and all this other shit while being in my house while i'm upstairs he just walks in the front door it's all those guys a hard time and then as he's leaving he says there's something going on in this house and i'm gonna get to the bottom of it and then just storms off he actually said that i'm not bullshitting i'm not gonna show you the video exactly because i don't want to like you know because you can kind of see outside and shit but this dude leaves the house and he says something along the lines of listen Something's going on in this house and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. That's what he said. It's a little muffled, obviously, because it's coming from, like, security cameras and shit. But, dude, this guy literally walked into the house to say this shit. And now he, so he's convinced. I, I feel like this guy has been sitting around thinking of what the fuck it is that we do for a living in this house. Because we never go outside. We don't talk to any of our neighbors except one of them. So this guy is convinced that there's some sort of foul play going on in my house. Now, given, I don't necessarily blame him. We don't talk to anybody. We're hardly even seen outside. Uh, and you got a bunch of delivery shit coming to my door left and right. Lexus goes out of her way to go and message one of our neighbors that we know. Well, one of them that she talks to. I don't really talk to anybody. But we ended up talking to them initially because of some stuff that they wanted uh, out of like our trash or stuff that we were going to end up throwing away at some point. So it turns out that my entire neighborhood believes that we are actually drug dealers. 
And not just like weed or some shit like that, like real hardcore drug dealers. So this guy, it's an old dude, by the way, he's got a bald head, he kind of looks like Vladimir Putin. The one neighbor that we talked to talks to all the other neighbors as well, because they're normal people, probably. They seem like it anyway, and uh, yeah, apparently everybody around here thinks that we sell a bunch of drugs and shit. So after that whole thing ended up happening, then I just started having random fucking people show up to the door. I didn't answer it or anything, but now I think I have drug addicts showing up to my doorstep now. I don't sell shit. But here's the thing, now what I'm worried about, since we're gonna be doing this charity thing, Thing, and this dude has the audacity to actually just step into somebody's house. Like, I'm telling you, he's lucky that we're actually nice and good people. You get shot for that kind of shit. Like, you can tell this guy has lived in a good area for a long time, because you would have got fucking murdered. From an outside perspective, being an old person, not really understanding social media or anything along those lines, not understanding that some people end up getting jobs through some of this shit, although we're very lucky, it exists. And all they see is a whole bunch of delivery and other shit that shows up at my door. Dude, I have a three foot tall dildo in my fucking room, okay? A lot of things show up at my doorstep. I'm pretty sure I have collected Amazon at this point. I got food showing up, things from Amazon showing up. I could kind of understand, but this is kind of similar to the whole reverse boosting thing. If I were doing it, I would be doing a terrible job at it. If I were a fucking drug dealer, you really think I would let my neighbors know in any way, shape, or form? Even get a fucking hunch? And you think I'd be dealing off my fucking front porch, you dumb fuck? Something's going on in this house and he's gonna get to the bottom of it. Yeah, that's the future, old man. But now I started thinking about it. Maybe I should just start fucking with him, right? Now all I wanna do is just fill small little Ziploc bags with sugar and just place them outside in random locations hoping he finds it. Cause now it's starting to remind me of some Disturbia shit, except the roles are reversed. Where the kid doesn't think that the, the adult's doing something wrong. The adult thinks that the kid is doing some shit. He's up to no good. So now I just want to fuck with him. Shit, I might just start putting my G Fuel in little packages and just like placing them in my garbage can to see if he wants to rummage through it. Thinking that I'm selling some sort of red tinted coke. I ain't gonna do anything, not gonna go out of my way, but I've had some ideas. Uh, it's definitely not as crazy as uh, waltzing into his house telling him that there's something going on in this house though. Dude literally just walked out of there after talking to people that don't even fucking live there. How about you talk to the owner, bro? And that's the other thing. I'm worried that this this dude is gonna like try to do some shit during this charity stream or something. And god damn, he's gonna feel like such a fucking moron. Yeah, these kids are selling fucking drugs here. Meanwhile, we got a bunch of people here that are trying to raise money for children's hospitals and shit. Good job, man. Good fucking move, boomer. These boomer comments, they usually make me cringe, but ooh, this is a perfect situation. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, that's the story up until this point. Uh, without going into any further detail past that point, uh, yeah, my entire neighborhood apparently all thinks that I sell drugs. I can't get away from it. It couldn't possibly be that I'm just gaming. I'm so tired of people.